Well, good morning, and uh, you're back here with Barry. Listen, I want to call your attention to uh, what I've been saying for quite some time now, that the world is one giant transmission. Now, the U.S. is most definitely the planetary gear or the driving gear of this world transmission, but make no mistake about it, every nation, every country is an associated gear. And uh, I've always said at times of a crash or should, for example, using the transmission, should this transmission pile up, okay? Well, if you're riding on reverse gear and first gear piles up, okay, reverse isn't gonna lose many teeth. First gear is gonna lose a lot and second and every gear that's in the drive cycle. But if you're floating along and uh, you're not being used, but you still are connected in the transmission, you're not gonna be damaged that bad. So anybody uh, besides being a little mechanically inclined, which is my hobby, and uh, could understand where I'm coming from on that. So this is why I bring this up is, um, uh, over the past little over a year now, China has purchased over $6 billion worth of real estate in America. So because of the issues with China and uh, their economy is suffering, make no mistake about it, but on the other side of this, they are gonna come out uh, really strong, but right now we're all suffering. But due to their cash, their liquid, liquid cash issues, and uh, particularly uh, as of late, what uh, one of their government banks did, which was actually uh, locked down over 400,000 people's savings. Uh, it's yet to be determined if that's going to be you know, temporarily locked down or if it's going to be forfeited. But we'll see and we'll follow that as it moves along. But nevertheless, that is a significant increase uh, in Chinese purchasing U.S. real estate. Now, over in my country, uh, as of a couple years ago, a year and a half ago, something like that, they uh, had some sort of law that was passed in, in Canada, and it was a, a levy, a tax levy, for foreigners buying real estate because what they were doing is the prices were getting so insane that the only people able to afford it were foreigners. Canadians could uh, barely afford to buy something in their own country. So with that in mind, they passed some sort of surplus tax on foreign buyers, okay? Uh, what did that cause? Well, shift to another gear in the transmission. So now a lot of them are buying American real estate. Now, is it because these people want to come to America? Well, I assume a small percentage of it might be, but by and large, it's to reallocate money out of their own country, which is something that I've been doing uh, for many, many people uh, and uh, uh, reallocating money in the country that I live in, which is the uh, north coast of the Dominican Republic. Um, at least here, the banks have a, an exceptionally good cash reserve on hand, and that's due in large to they don't go willy-nilly with mortgages here without a 25%, 30% deposit down payment. Uh, they're not even interested in looking at people. So again, that uh, helped in terms of uh, real estate hasn't crashed like it has in many others where people were getting a mortgage if they simply had a heartbeat. So. What I'm trying to get across here is these people understand, and many of them are travelers. That's a big thing in China is to travel. And they understand the benefits of having part of your portfolio in different countries. A lot of folks who had uh, listened to us and have done this earlier are thankful that they did. It's still not too late, although time isn't really on many people's side anymore, but it's still not too late to be doing that. And I'm not saying this is the only country or is it necessarily the best country. It's just one we chose because it meets a lot of our uh, points on the chart and it, it, you know, it pegs a lot of what we're looking for. So bear that in mind. And um, it's really funny because most of their purchasing is in uh, states uh, that are California, for example. So as the Exodus continues, there's an entrance on. So remember, keep that in mind that everything is connected in terms of a giant transmission, which is why I encourage you 
don't get hung up in total Armageddon and, and the fear that the entire planet's going to collapse. If it does, oh well, it does. You're not going to be able to do anything about it, but sitting and worrying about it is just going to make you make poor decisions. So another thing I'd like to, as a couple of days ago, I had a coffee. One of the things I love about living out in the Caribbean is there's so many different people from different walks of life and different geographic locations. And a, a buddy of mine uh, hails from Germany, and he's been living here for quite some time, about as long as we have. So it's about 14, 15 years. Every so often we get together for a coffee, and uh, I would have to say this particular individual is definitely enlightened. So he's well informed as to what's going on, and particularly Germany's in a very vulnerable situation right now due to the oil situation and how they're so heavily dependent upon uh, natural gas from Russia. So um, he had offered uh, he has a spare room in his house, and he went out to his uh, first his family, and after what I'll tell you, then after that went to friends. So it was amazing to him that literally everybody he suggested that if things get bad, listen, do you want to reserve this? He wasn't looking for any kind of funds. He's doing this, you know, free. It's an extra room in his house. And he's saying, if anybody would need a place to vacate, should things... And you know what literally 100% of the answers were? And it blew him away. We were talking about this for well over a half hour over coffee because he just couldn't get it. He couldn't get how 100% of his family and close friends are still that much out of the know. It was amazing. Not one of them wanted to even consider accepting that and their answers were like like why this is gonna blow over this is no big deal the government's gonna figure out something and just the same old answers that the people that watch me and uh, our subscribers uh, know the frustration that they deal with and it was no different there so i've always said things like Ignorance, which is not an insult, ignore is the root. So people that ignore things are ignorant of certain subjects and certain scenarios. But I found it very interesting how that's such an equal opportunity employer. So for all you folks who think you're having trouble, whether it's Canada or America and waking up people and friends and uh, again, we were discussing there's, you know, there's time to move on now and you have to start looking after yourself and taking some simple steps that I've just laid out, uh, as well as looking for a, another place geographically if you have family in another state and your state gets pretty crazy over the next uh, six months to a year, well, it would, it would be helpful to you if you had a place that you can go and, and bunk out at for a while, okay? Uh, so not everything's going to collapse all at the same time, and don't fall for that. But anyway, I just wanted you to know you're not alone if uh, you kind of feel you're banging your head against the wall sometime trying to wake up uh, people you love and people you care for. You're not alone. So anyway, keep that in mind about the world is a transmission. It always has been and it always will be, and markets are always going to rule long term. So... I would encourage you to continue on the path of stalking and preparing. And I think on the next video, I might just touch about uh, the actual mandatory draft is not off the table in America right now, and they're really suffering from a lack of people enrolling in the military. And a lot of that has to do with the culture, the advertising, uh, the woke movement. A lot of uh, traditional people that would look at military are not particularly fond of that kind of uh, way of living. And uh, they're opting to not enlist and actually continue in schooling and look at a different career. So the uh, actual numbers in the U.S. military are plundering to a serious amount. And uh, they may be in implementing the draft over the next couple of years but we'll talk to you a little bit more on that and you guys have a great day it's old barry till next time